Hello everyone, welcome back for another week of Let's Play You Don't Know Jack. We're almost halfway through this. Hi there, I'm Donnie. So, how many players will be employing our little game? Just me. All alone. Exciting. Type in your nomenclature, won't you? No. Well, I'm not calling you blank. That's ridiculed, Ness. Let's call you Hoss. Hoss works. Okay, now here's what's going to happen, Stance. You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. There's a timer tickling away, so the more expeditiously you buzz in, the more renumination you'll receive. Or surrender. We're almost at places. Ten seconds. Be careful out there. Yeah, let's go with the sleep check. Six, five, It'd be hard to get sleep with that three. check. Just noise. saying. Please wait for the beep, then hang up. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm finally on Hotmail. So feel free to email me. We need the address. Nobody wanted to play with you, huh? It's like grammar school all over again. And our wrong answer Sad, of the game is true. brought to you by Shaggy's Roof Carpet. You'll never have to mop your roof again. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. Why do I think the answer right, is going to be related history. to Scooby-Doo or something like that? First question, I heart attack New York. In which country is a pizza lover most likely to find a I Heart NY style t-shirt that reads I Heart ZA? New Zealand, South America, Zimbabwe, or South Africa? Don't know, two is the only one it can't be. So it's South Africa. The official abbreviation for South Africa, whether sending a letter or using an internet domain, is ZA. Cool. It's also the symbol for zinc aluminum. If you really love zinc aluminum, you should wear one of these I Heart ZA shirts. I mean, who doesn't love zinc aluminum? Uh, I'm never gonna sell all these shirts. No, you're not. Take a stab at, snake it off, snake it all off. If wrestler Jake the Snake takes about as long to shed his skin-tight skivvies as it does his pet snake to shed its skin, how many consecutive Monday Night Raws will he miss while he's undressing? Two Monday Night Raws, eight Monday Night Raws, 24 Monday Night Raws, or 52 Monday Night Raws? How long does it take a snake to shed a skin? I'm gonna say eight weeks. That's so nope. wrong. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. A two. snake shedding process typically lasts up to two weeks, or two Mondays. However, it only takes two hours for Jake to digest an entire field mouse. That's kind of fast, actually. Never Coming owned a snake. Apostra oh, well. feels so good, and it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off the names of seven companies. For each one, tell me if the company has an apostrophe in its logo, or the company does not have an apostrophe in its logo. Hmm. If there is an apostrophe, press 1. If there's no apostrophe, press 2. Each one right gets you 300 bucks. But get one wrong and lose more than just a punctuation mark. And you've only got 30 seconds. We good? Here we go. McDonald's. Walgreens. Wendy's. Parents. Starbucks, Lowe's, Applebee's. Oh, I didn't think those last two had them. That was okay oh, well. for a bunch of possessive apostrophe questions. I mean, I wouldn't say you owned that round or anything. That's a terrible pun. Even for you don't know Jack. Well, if you're my mom, you just add an apostrophe S to the end of everything. Cookie, run down to the Walmarts, and if they don't have it, stop by Best Buys or Targets or Kmarts on the way back. How about a medical nightmare on Elm Street? Which of these frightening medical conditions would not cause Freddy Krueger to vigorously scratch himself with his finger knives? Psoriasis, shingles, eczema, halitosis. I know the answer is halitosis, but since we're dealing with something with roofs, how about shingles? 
Allow me. Got it. Unlike psoriasis, eczema, and shingles, which cause itching, halitosis causes bad breath. Although it's probably safe to say Freddy Krueger has also not brushed his teeth in a long time. Freddy would certainly be scratching with shingles. And speaking of things that are shingled, you've won roof carpet from Shaggy's Roof Carpeting. For gutter to gutter plushness, nobody beat Shaggy's. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. I'll need it. Where's the bomb, girl? Introduce, I can has cheeseburger in paradise. Oh, God. You ever been to a Jimmy Buffett concert? His fans no. call themselves parrot heads, but I kind of lean toward calling them middle-aged haven't been out of the house in a while, and I'm tipsy from this frozen daiquiri heads. Anyway, since they insist on calling themselves parrot heads, which accessory would be most appropriate if parrot heads had the same physical features as real parrots? A Hawaiian shirt with two neck holes? Coconut bras with room for eight breasts? Sunglasses with independently moving lenses or sandals with toe room on both ends. I would say number four. Get this, parrots are zygodactyls. For those of you who are not veterinarians, that means they have two toes in front and two in back. Parrot heads, like parrots, also seem to just say the same thing over and over again. Woo, I'm drunk! Woo, I'm drunk! This is true. That's round one. Mostly. And you should be very proud of that score, because I'm not. Aww. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. Then get out there and make me proud. Buck her up for pastry white thighs. Who would most likely be the cake boss's favorite European queen? Queen Elizabeth I, Anne Boleyn, Marie Antoinette, or Queen Isabella II? Eh, probably Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, supposedly cake. said let them eat cake when she was told her subjects had no bread to eat. That's something the cake boss would like to hear. Cake Boss is one suspenseful, nerve-wracking show. Is he going to use cream filling or fruit? I can't watch! Question seven. Never seen it. It's time for... The Color of Genius. You know, I think it's time we hired a big-time fashion designer to class up the you-don't-know-jack look. If Donna Karen New York creates a designer you-don't-know-jack game box that uses the four-color printing process, what will we get? A DKNY, YDKJ, and KJNY? A DKNY, YDNJ, and CMYN? A DKNY, YDKJ, and DKMY? Or a DKNY, YDKJ, and CMYK? Huh. Watch your time! Well, this is number four. Donna Karen New York or DKNY would make yeah. a You Don't Know Jack game or YDKJ using the color model known as Cyan, Magenta, Yellow, and Key or CMYK. And then we'll get Calvin Klein to make us some four color CK, CMYK, YDKJ underwear. Strangely enough, most laser printers use that same exact code. Technically. Let's try pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening. It's true, when pizza's on a bagel, you can eat it any time. Even really late at night when you're watching a movie and falling asleep during the credits. But oh, yeah. Okay, I had this utterly bizarre dream where I was this really smart guy who used his intelligence to con people for a living. I even swindled my own mother, played in my dream by my real mom, into thinking I'm just your average son. And I vaguely remember making fake checks and having these difficult jobs like a pilot. But here's the weirdest part. A couple of detectives are in pursuit, but they're not people. They're my cats, Mayonnaise and Poopsie. I forge a strong and complicated bond with mayonnaise all the way until our cat and mouse game ends. What movie was I watching? The one with Leonardo. Man, catch yeah, me Catch Me If You Can. can. That's what this. Or Dirty Rotten Scum. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I watched the 2002 film Catch Me If You Can. In a related note, regardless of the movie, I always end up dreaming that Christopher Walken is my father. <laughs> And now, you're that clever landmark, aren't you? 
Which of these statements about famous landmarks is true? The Leaning Tower of Pisa is actually leaning. The Spanish Steps are actually in Spain. Red Square is actually in the shape of a square. Or the Golden Gate Bridge is actually golden. I'm pretty sure it was the Tower. I'm pretty sure the Tower of Pisa is actually leaning. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is in fact, in reality, in actuality, leaning. The only problem is if you send an email from inside the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the font comes out in italics. Hold me, never let me go. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Take a good look at a one god band. If the Hindu deity Shiva became a rock god, what's the most epic feat it could accomplish while using two-handed instruments? Rocking two cowbells, shredding three rhythm guitars, melting faces with four bass guitars, or destroying five synthesizers? Doesn't Shiva have eight arms? Does it have eight or six? Six. Nope, has eight. It's so obvious. It takes two arms to play all these instruments properly, and Shiva has eight arms in total. That's four bass guitars. So Shiva's gonna get four times as many chicks as a normal bass player, which still calculates to zero. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, Press 1, 4,000 if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong, and don't ever forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. People animals. Like Crocodile Dundee, but with real actual people. Good luck. Okay. That'd be Gingrich, wouldn't it? Buffalo Bill or Buffalo? Yep. Cat Stevens? Raven? No. Maybe Gingrich? Raven Simone? Huh. I'll take the do over on that. Tiger, that's Woods. Yeah, I know that's Bear Gryllis. I'll go with Raven some more. We'll see if that's it. Yep, okay. Cool. There you have it! You're an animal. Nobody can tame you. But to avoid any overpopulation, we're gonna go ahead and have you fixed. Aww. Nice one, folks. Okay, Danny, let us know what we're doing. So, are you thinking you'd like to enrage in more Tom Flummery? Do you have too many shelves? Nope. No Don't more for me. But well, now it's time to put your worries next the week shelf. there will be more. Shelf as always, shelf shelves are made as we finally hit the shelf shelf just shelf under the halfway shelf point shelf of shelf this shelf series. Shelf shelf so until then, really take care, folks. Don't get stuck with I leave you, shelf. as always, with the commercials. And do your shelf a favor. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it! If I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie Mama! That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special. All babies are beautiful. Fact. Tanning beds are dangerous. Fact.
Those last two facts are false. 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 Do you love your pasty white baby? You shouldn't. It's so ugly it wants me to make vomit noises. Gag Gag you. You. Hi, I'm Bernie from Bernie's Baby Browning Tanning Beds. A healthy glow courtesy of me, Bernie, and my tanning bed will do wonders for your baby's lovability, not to mention the compliments. My baby browning tanning beds are as natural as the sun, concentrated into high-powered light bulbs radiating directly into your baby or infant skin from inches away. So come to Bernie's. It's a perfect time to say goodbye to those pesky diaper lines and say hello to a happy, sexy baby. And now, great moments in driving history. Oh man, I love this song. If only there were a way to let drivers around me know that I love this song. Ah, too bad you can't hear anything from outside these stupid rolled up windows. Wait a minute, what if I... This has been another installment of... Great Moments in Driving History. Meet Timmy. He's just like you or me. He likes to listen to music, play, make friends. The only difference is Timmy doesn't have a mother or father. Timmy's an orphan. Hi, I'm Timmy. Uh, Tim. My parents died in a tragic car accident when I was just 42. In retrospect, maybe I wasn't in any condition to drive. Anyway, uh, will you be my new mommy or daddy? I promise to be a good son. I'll keep my room clean and eat all my vegetables except for lima beans. Those things give me horrendous farts. Uh, I'll need a car, and it'd be great if you had an extra room or a basement for my drums. There are thousands of Timmies out there just waiting to find their forever home. If you're ready to start a new-ish family, call the It's Never Too Late Adult Orphanage, because grown-ups are children too. I like your hoodie. Where'd you get it? Pack, son. Oh, well, where's there a pack sun? I don't know. My mom drove me. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. Tag, I am Pope Benedict XVI. When I enter a church, I always reach for the basin of holy water as a gesture of symbolic cleansing. But when I enter a gymnasium to either get my elliptical on or just a whale on my rock-hard abs, I reach for a bottle of vitamin holy water. Vitamin holy water replenishes my electrolytes while giving me godlike strength for higher reps and an even higher dose.